Hi, I'm Nate Saunders. I'm a general crafts worker with the city of Richland. And I'm excited to show you our city of Richland back truck. The city of Richland has over 4,000 catch basins in it. It's our job to make sure that it flows good and doesn't contaminate the river. This truck here is designed to clean the pipes and to clean out the catch basins. The difference between the sewer and the stormwater is that all the sewer pipes are enclosed in the ground, there's no openings to the outside, and it all flows down to the sewer plant. The stormwater is open to the outside, and all the stormwater and rain goes down into the drains and flows down to ponds and into the river eventually. So we want to keep all the contaminants out of the storm system and out of the rivers. This is a giant vacuum truck. It's like a vacuum cleaner at home, but on a big scale. We use these tubes up here, and they attach to the truck. They go down into the ground, into the manholes and the catch basins, and they suck out all the water and debris that are washed down in there along the curbs and gutters. We have different sizes for different things. We have smaller ones that get in smaller spots, and we got the larger ones to get down in there, suck up more debris. We have a variety of different nozzles we use to clean out different pipes and different sizes. These ones are a cutting nozzle. It's a high-speed jet. Spins, cuts roots out of the lines. This one's designed to go in a larger pipe, 12 inches and bigger. We have large flushing nozzles to get the mud out of the pipes, which is common in storm water. We get lots of mud and debris. This is a, a chain, it's a saw type. It's designed to get in and cut out roots. This is a, called a wart hog. It's like this one here. It's just for a smaller size pipe diameter. We also use high pressure water to wash down. High pressure guns shoot water. Then this is our vacuum tube. We hook those tubes that I showed you earlier. They hook onto here. They go down into the catch basins and manholes. They suck up all the water, debris, things we don't want to get down into the rivers, lakes, and uh, clean them up. This is our jet hose. We hook our nozzles to it. It goes down into the ground, goes into the pipes in the ground. High pressure water flushes all the debris, cuts all the roots out of the system so we don't have any blockages and the water is free to flow as it's supposed to. All this is controlled by a joystick. It controls the boom on the, that, it controls the reel, controls the pressure for the jet, the speed of the reel. I can control how much vacuum pressure I have. I can control all that just by this little joystick. After we fill up the truck from cleaning out the catch basins, we dump it all here. The solids drain off and dry up. The water flows down to the retaining wall, drains off, the solids stay above, and the water goes back to the headworks of the sewer plant to go through the system. We transfer the solids to the other side of this wall here so they dry up where they get tested to make sure that they're safe for the environment, and then we transfer them to the landfill at a later point. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the City of Richland VAC truck. If you'd like more information, check the link below. And remember, only rain in the drain.